Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Purnell and I started this channel because I'm going through my transition. I am transgender, so I'm going through my transition and I wanted to, I have been going through, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, starting with, um, um, I started going through my transition when I was very small age. I feel like it was probably, I mean, I knew my whole life that something was different about me. So, um, I started transitioning, I would say, in fifth grade, um, but not exactly full on um, as far as dressing like a woman and, and, and carrying myself as a woman. I, would, I was starting with, you know, carrying bags to school, um, taking shoes that was my mom's that were way too small. <laughs> and, um, you know, I started with those small things and I would hide them from my family and hide them from all of that. And I'm sure everyone that watches this has had to deal with that in some kind of way if you're transitioning and you're dealing with any of this. Um, so I, I think I made my, my first thing in eighth grade where I fully said, fuck this, excuse my French, but that's what I said. I said, fuck this, um, I'm going to be me. I'm going to do me. Um, if you have a problem with it, fuck off, basically. And um, so I did it. Um, a friend of mine gave me some shoes. Her name is um, Jasmine Maddox. Um, she was a really close friend at the time. Over time, I think we've kind of grown apart, which I'm sure if she sees this, I still love you to death. Um, I remember growing up with you. You were my friend, probably my only friend at that point in time in my life because it was such an emotional time for me to go through that, and she was there. Um, and it was a couple other people too, like Tiana, Childress, a couple other people I went to school with, you know, um, I mean, it's just that one I remember, you know, and, and she was there, um, you know. So, I, I went through the transition. It was hard. I went through high school. I went through all of that. Um, I didn't have boyfriends. Um, I made up scenarios. I mean, I think, you know, we all in our minds sometimes as being trans, we tend to um, think things up in our head and then we start telling people to kind of make them anyway it's just a bunch of lies that's how we are it's a bunch of liars anyway but you know just to make us feel better because we felt so unaccepted um I grew up in Danville Virginia um I live currently in Wilmington North Carolina um I I, I just it's a huge difference I love it here in Wilmington um we have a local um, club down here that I go to all the time, and it's a um, it's a it's it's for all types of people, um, gay, bi, all the the whole thing, and uh, it's called a Biza nightclub. You should come and check it out for sure. Like if you're ever in Wilmington, come hit me up on on social media on Jamie Purnell, um, um, you know just just reach out to me and, and try to come, even if you see me there, like come up and say, hey. Um, but it's it's been a huge difference for me moving here around people that accepted me because my entire family has never really accepted me. Um, everyone in my family has had a problem with, with it at some point, either with um, dealing with my um, pronouns, dealing with just getting over it, um, being able to deal with it and all of that. So it's just been very hard on me uh, as far as that. Um, I'm not starting any hormones. I'm starting them. Um, I just went to the doctor um, on the day after Christmas. Um, by the way, Happy New Year to everyone. Anyway, and <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just all of the things are coming at me one time. So I'm just like, you know, this is the first time I've really done a detailed video. Um, but I, I went on the 26th and got blood tests and stuff done and all those come back clear. I'm all good, tested good for everything. And so I go back on the 10th of January. Um, it is today, today is the, I think, third or 4th. Anyway, so um, I'll be starting on my hormones. 
First time, I'm so excited. And then getting my breast done at some point after that. Um, we're going to see how much breast tissue I can receive from that. Um, right now, I have none. All this is padding. Everything is padding. See, it's like none. Anyway, so, you know, and I need to lose some weight. <laughs> this food, this time of year. But um, I, I came from a very, back to the whole thing. Um, I, I came from a very poor family. We did not have much growing up. Um, my family made sure we had what we had, you know, what we what we needed. And um, that was pretty much it, you know. Really hard on me, and I have a lot of learning disabilities. I don't read very well, um, you know. I don't really, I, I don't really like, I have like a lot of bipolar, I, who doesn't, but you know, I have bipolar, I have like all these panic attacks, um, but I think it's a lot to do with going through my transition, you know, dealing with, you know, being different, being not accepted, and, and I feel like since I moved here, I've went off all, all of my psychotic medications because I feel more accepted here than when I was back at home. So, you know, the reason why I, I do in this video is because I want to help people that don't have someone supporting them. I want to help somebody that needs, you know, some kind of guidance, you know, and I just, this is the only way I feel like I can do anything. Um, now I, I, I really, this has been really hard for me being trans and, and going through this my whole life, but I feel like I've been going through it for like, cause I graduated in 2014 from high school. Here it is, <laughs> 2019. So that's been a good, almost five years now. And I started way before that transitioning. So, you know, it's, it's. This is a big thing for me because I am finally going through this and and putting it all out there, you know, and I just hope that this helps other people to do what you need to do for yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else says. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about any of that type of stuff. I mean, it helps if they are, are agreement and stuff like that but when they're mean to you and they're hateful to you you tell them that you need to do more research because I'm not just this way from for my health or for because I want to go through this I'm not doing this for attention I'm doing this because that's how I feel on the inside on the outside I may be something else but I am going through this this is a transition period so now I'm going through that. But anyway, back to the whole thing. I'm currently living in Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, I'm just, I, I, I'm trying, I don't have a lot of money. So I'm trying to, you know, reach out to people that can probably help me as um, far as financially. Because um, breast and, you know, hair removal and you know stuff like that it's very expensive so um i'm reaching out to people to maybe get some help um maybe start a um a breast um fund or you know go fund me or you know something like that but i i was doing this mainly i wanted people to reach i wanted to reach out to people so maybe y'all could help me with this um I help people you know reach out to me you can message me and we can kind of talk about it um if you message me tell me you've seen my video um like and share this as well um please because i i want to get i want to get up there i want people to see my videos i want i want this to be really put out anyway so um and i want to know what y'all want to see from me how i do my makeup how i do my hair um, you know, things like that, if that's what you want to know, just let me know things that you want to do. Um, it, the easiest way would probably to message me off of Facebook, um, and we can talk from there. Um, or you can, um, we can just, we, we can go from there, and then that way, 
it'll be good but anyway um let's wrap this up anyway um it's just really nice to finally be able to sit down and do this um i made this wall especially for this this is my new apartment anyway and i hope you like this video and just subscribe and let me know um and go over to my friend um kimberly george and look at some of hers too if you're trans and want to look at other things she is a huge huge um supporter of mine she has helped me um through a lot of you know mental things going through boyfriend things friends you know all kinds of stuff you know so i would like you to uh, subscribe to her page as well and kind of check her out too anyway everyone i hope you're having a wonderful new year's and goodbye